I recently had the absolute pleasure of working with Youthful Minds, a group of young people with lived experience of mental illness in Jersey who are supported by Jersey Mind to educate others about mental illness. I asked them what five things they wished every parent or carer knew about mental illness and here's what they had to say. I know that sometimes it's not just teenagers being lazy, like us being lazy. Sometimes it is that we just don't have that energy to get out of bed and either go to school or pick up our laundry from the floor. And it's not us being lazy, it's just us genuinely not having the energy from trying to sort of fight with our minds to sort of either stay alive or work out what's going on for us inside our own heads. I think it's important to know that getting angry won't be beneficial but quite the opposite because your child won't open up and as a result that that's not healthy. So what's more helpful than getting angry? I think calm conversations when you've genuinely got the time to sit down and try and understand what you're being told. Okay. Yeah, kind of follow on point but just simply listen to them because sometimes you don't they don't want to hear the advice or your opinion as such, they just want someone who would listen to them and rant to. Don't, don't listen to respond, listen to give to give your ear so they have that time if you're just listening just to get your word in then you're not really taking on board what they're saying. Um, and believe them if they do tell you they're struggling because a lot of it's quite often it's well, what have you got to worry about you've not got bills you've not got to worry about all of this and then it really dismisses when someone's really struggling yeah so um it's, it's not your fault like you've not failed as a parent and don't internalize that and then become really angry with yourself and then your child because it's just not helpful at all i hope that gave you some food for thought I would love to hear in the comments what you found helpful and what you'd like to know more about. Don't forget to subscribe for new mental health videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks for watching.